is going on guys wiser here bringing you the recap of the last war for 2.0 it was against this clan ruthless um <laughs> nothing special in this war that's for sure uh 87 57 30 star victory for 2.0 almost cleared the board of the perfect war just missed a few of the few of the tens there the top three tens got two starred uh let's kind of quickly roll through it like i said everything got cleaned up except those three at the top so solid work 2.0 fantastic attacks in here not the not the greatest of bases they had some they had a few okay bases and then they had there was like a max right and then they had a few clearly like foreign bases just just really awful bases but um i'm gonna hop in maddie had a six star war here and they were some sexy attacks so um all those walls are those shaky uh, mostly town hall 10 defenses here right so um nothing to scoff at i mean his queen and king were only 15 and 18 but um yeah let's, let's watch what maddie does here brings the two golems in at the top easy funnels kind of works everything kind of in a little zigzag down into that base uh does get that single target infernal locked on right away but that's not a huge deal uh sends in a pekka i thought that was kind of interesting as well and then the king's going to go in behind the pekka uh, really just wants to ensure that queen goes down kind of takes a good chunk of this base out at the same time queen's gonna lock that peck on in one moment i like how it stopped at the wall for no reason there that's retarded but gg supercell town hall 11 is clearly more important <laughs> than fixing that crap but <laughs> everything's good now right he's taking a huge piece of this base defensive queen's down cc troops are taken care of uh worked on uh, working on this inferno is about to rage up as queen kind of still just finish off this tesla and this little bit of this little area and big chunk of the base taken out two air defenses are taken down um and 33 percent of the base with a lot of key key defenses in within that 33 percent so looking good from this point three lava hounds to go here he's got two in on that first one another lava hound in, it's basically a standard shatter lalo army from this point uh, freeze goes down take care of that inferno just beautiful haste goes down gonna push everything over the expo and right on top of that inferno it goes down another haste goes down it's gonna push everything down really there's an archer tower wizard tower arch tower times two tesla times two and that's it right that's uh, sorry arch tower times three apparently <laughs> good start to this video for myself <laughs> anyhow as you can see this base is r.i.p two loons even on that back end uh two loons each even on you know, those back end arch towers so fantastic job maddie nice attack beautiful need a little recap juice there that's why stuttering build there's hut in the corners suck it <laughs> all right <laughs> let's check out maddie's next attack and i promise i'll do this one a little more diligent <clears throat> so another really sexy attack uh level 12 hero so uh not sure what this guy's doing at town hall 10 clearly a very new town hall, town hall 10 so maddie just bullies this base uh it, like his his witches end up kind of walking and some things don't go right but still just rips through this base really only town hall nine defenses and one level one inferno so more like a town hall nine plus um can't call it 9.5 because of the inferno but anyhow two golems are down a few wizards kind of on each side gonna start creating that funnel witches go down up in this uh the rate of the 12 o'clock section three witches can start working everything in opens up the wall queen goes down everything starts moving into the base looking good at this point king is super super delayed here i th i like that as well um really surprised there it is i knew i knew it went down but extreme delay on that king he did not want to get in touch by that inferno inferno is about to go down king goes right in there boom just literally just walks right to that queen i love that it's gonna raise it up take care of a bunch of those teslas at the same time queen's in there doing work as well like how all those Teslas get taken down around that town hall. Just that's super key, right? Tesla, Teslas have huge, huge DPS. So there it goes. Last Tesla's down. Really, there's only those three Expos, one of them being level one. See those witches kind of start walking around the sides of the base here? I didn't mean, I guess I didn't mean they walk, but um, they're more doing cleanup. Like these Archer Towers, there's no splash damage till you get down to that six o'clock area. So those witches are getting huge, huge value. In my last video, I was talking about the value of witches and 
um, they're the only unit that generates its own troops, <laughs> right? So if you can figure out how to how to keep them safe, look, they're they're still still alive. These hogs are going through the rest of this base. There's gonna be no defenses left. We've got all of those witches still alive, creating units, doing cleanup. Um, so fantastic job with that, Maddie. I I love love seeing uh, the witches used. I have a feeling, obviously, with Town Hall 11, we're gonna start seeing a lot more witches attacks. Um, Fortunately, we had to go there, uh, but Maddie doesn't need to go there. Brings them on this sexy, sexy TH10 triple. It's cleanup, super slow cleanup because of the witches there, but hogs are doing the work. Beautiful. Nice job. All right. I think I was just going to bang off the top three town home lines because they're all very nice attacks. And they're all very different attacks. So Sean is just a monster. Sean's never allowed to go out of, outside of town hall nine. He's just too <laughs> too much of a badass at Town Hall 9 to, to ever go up to 10, in my opinion. Um, so he brings a stone go hill here, guys. He's dropped the first two golems. He's saving one in the bag, the one on the CC. Is it stone? Yeah, it's stone. Um, you're going to go ahead and just start working all the defenses. See how late that other, the max golem goes? Uh, he really, really just is wanting to protect that golem, not have it um, take any damage right off the hop. Wants to get extreme push deep into this base. Um, so that's the goal with that. Now the uh, poison kind of goes down over the loons, but that dragon is roaming freely. So this is kind of going weird at this point, but the rage goes down. The queen's going to bust down that dragon in a second with those wizards. Uh, the king goes in, takes care of that defensive queen. Bam, bam, bam. Still under the rage and everything. Hasn't even used the king ability, but he is about to, I believe. Hogs start going in from the 12 o'clock position. They're just going to start chunking out all these compartments one at a time see the golem get in there start triggering bombs as well just great great push with that kill squad king is in there doing work finally used that ability but no big deal the queen is still full health with an untouched ability it's got hogs working down in the last couple cart compartments of defense like this is just a, a standard sh uh, stone go ho uh sean just putting on a clinic here i love it still has a heal in the bag for one archer tower doesn't even need to drop it swag heal stone go ho nice job sean just a monster buddy like i said you are never allowed to go up queen still has the ability too it's like swag ability and swag heal at the same time there it goes bust through that wall Boom, three stars in the bag. Right on. So that was your standard shattered go or sorry, stone go ho. I was wrong with me tonight. JJ, another monster attacker at Town Hall 9. Uh brings a queen walk with Valk. So this is a, a quite a different style of attack. Notice here, no king as well. I thought that was really cool on this uh, fairly uh, good, at least uh, maxed out, I should say, uh, Town Hall 9. Uh, really, you know, 2020 heroes, not not terrible by any means. Only a few lava walls, but that's really the only thing keeping it from max. But this queen walk gets really good value. Uh, just kind of charges the queen into this side, just leads it up, takes out this compartment, ends up moving across uh, and lures out the CC at the same time. So you're going to see a rage go down here to help her out. Boom, there it is. Always need to make sure you get the healers under that rage or she is going to be in serious trouble. Goes ahead and also uses the ability at the same time just to ensure that there's no funny business. Uh, I definitely would have opted for that as well, especially with the way uh, healers seem to be nerfed these days. Um, but as you can see, so that huge top section is now going to be taken out. He's going to go ahead and send in a cold-blooded entry, meaning one golem here. Just going to tank uh, for all these defenses and create a funnel with these wizards. Going to open up this wall here, meets, um, kind of closes the queen walk here and meets her up with the kill squad and the eight valks are about to go into this base with the jump that's going to let everything into this core boom there go the valks leaving those breadcrumbs see that right creates the funnel and then leaves that when that building was still up that's when he dropped the valks because they're just going to run right to that building and then they're in the core and you're good um yeah so heal goes down everything goes down is that a heal yeah it was a heal wasn't it <laughs> i really need to pay attention uh i'm pretty sure it was a Two rages, a heal, and a jump. Maybe I'm wrong. Anyhow, looking good from this point because the Valks are in there just demolishing this core. Starts sending in hogs in all these outer compartments. He's got um, 
I believe about eight or ten hogs that are just going to work their way up. And if you see, all these defenses are all side by side. There is zero tra uh, chance for spring traps, zero chance for bombs. Those hogs are just golden running in there. Plus, you had those Valks in there doing tanking. Queen is in there ripping it up. The whole base is destroyed. Like, there's no cleanup <laughs> once the last defense goes down. Just disgusting attack, JJ. Showed this base. Kind of a weird variation of that forum base we always see. But ripped it apart. Kingless. I love it. All right. Greg's Kingdom. Greg got moved up to 2.0 not too long ago. So congrats, buddy. Bringing some sexy attacks like these. See, here's the new update. Spell comp with a, a potential spell comp. Uh, bringing the three earthquakes. Donated earthquake. And then you still get three full spells to bring. So he's going to earthquake a section. This base still has two rages and a heal. So it's kind of a weird variation, I guess, of a max attack. Uh, I guess the new uh, max, max attack 2.0 here. Um, because... It, it, you don't bring the poison for the CC. You end up getting the extra rage to use for your balloons, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, also could have brought two hastes as well um, for those balloons, which is uh, another completely viable option. Um, so I, I really, really like seeing this attack. King goes in over everything, right? So what he's done here, drop the golems, open up the wall, Created his funnel and let his king and queen in to deal with the CC troops. Those two air defense, town hall, the defensive queen. Tesla's popped and give a little bit of trouble here because they do so much damage. The king goes down pretty quickly, but the queen gets the job done. That rage placement was perfect. Gave her just enough time to get both those air defense. He's got three lava hounds now and a bunch of balloons, like 16 or 14 balloons. Uh, so you see, he just kind of sent in a few on each of these outer defenses that target air. Well, he sends those two lava hounds in on that first air defense. Going to send that last lava hound in on this remaining air defense. There it goes. And then still sprinkles the balloons in. Two, three, four, right? He's going to send in, boom, last two, exactly, right on that arch tower. So see the rage and the value that as, as small a thing you might see, uh, as small of a thing as it might seem, uh, the donated spell allowing him just going without the poison, giving him that rage still to use on his balloons with the max attack, that just like crushed all, like you only had a handful of balloons on that side and they just pushed their way up and just huge, huge value. Can Cannon is the last defense remaining. Clean up time. Greg's kingdom just kills it. Nice. Town hall. Few to few trash buildings down here. And that is your three star in the bag. Nice job, Greg. Beauty. All right. So yeah, I'll just make it this quick one. Just wanted to show. Oh, you know what? We're gonna show Chad. Ripping this base up. I think we ripped this base up a few times. <laughs> this guy asked for a shout out for his clan. <laughs> You might want to, I don't know. I don't even say anything. <laughs> I first hit this base and I failed. Actually, I tried a Valk attack, but um, I believe Malfunction and Chad at least both restarted this base. Chad just did a little quicker. So Chad's just bringing, look at his army comp, just swaps the queen. He, he was trying to get the queen uh, with that zap quake. It didn't work out. She has a sliver of health left. But I believe she locks on to the king here. Look at her chase the king. Oh, the barbs get her. No, the queen gets her. That's right. That's right. Sorry. I knew she died on the outside there. So didn't even do anything. The queen kind of goes for a run and chases that king, jumps out of the wall. And it's bad news for her because uh, <laughs> we're going to see a quad Lalo coming in from Chad here. Because he also, at the same time, got that air defense up in the 12 o'clock location. So, looking good from this point. He's got four Lava Hounds going to send in the first two on the air defense up there. Sends another one, uh, another two, I should say, on this bottom air defense. He does have this one on the outside remaining, but it doesn't matter. Haste goes down. It's going to kind of push everything to that air defense. And then they're going to go straight across to that other one. Has, I think, five balloons in this little pack that really just need to take care of the mortar. And they're going to jump on top of that wizard tower. The Teslas give a little bit of problem. Problem, but nothing this army can't handle uh, does drop a couple on that expo that don't quite take it down 
Um, oh, maybe they're doing the splash. Yep, on the splash. So that is perfect because he's got way too many loons to deal with this Wiz Tower and Tesla. Things are looking absolutely sexy from this point. He's got a bazillion pups all over the base. Chad just wrecked this guy. Sorry, Dead Eye Dale. This replay was a shout out, my friends. All right. <laughs> so that'll do it for the recap. Um, <laughs> it would have been nice to get the perfect war, but it didn't happen, unfortunately. Uh, boys put up, so I should show you, Mark, I think it was Mark, who, number two. Mr. Moose, sorry, Moose. Moose had a 99%. was really close on getting that number two. Um, then uh, did get a two on their uh, Town Hall 11. Um, it's kind of just a not too, too interesting war uh, overall. But uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed these replays because there are still some really crazy attacks. Uh, definitely not taking away anything from the 2.0 boys because when you clear the board like that, and we cleared it quickly as well, like very, very quickly. So hats off, gentlemen. Nice job. Uh, calling it a night from here. That does it for your wisdom from Wiser. Just trying to help you bag that next three star. And until then, I'm out.